Good evening, Facebook family. It's Reverend Mama Kathy again, coming to you. Um, today is Thursday, April 2nd. And I, I keep showing up every day um, for two reasons. One is that I believe that it is so important that we connect. We connect frequently during these times and we remember that we're not separate from each other, just as we are not separate from God. And um, personally for me, in my life and my work, I'm used to connecting with people. I'm a community person. So I see people all the time out in the world and people are constantly coming into my home um, to visit, to eat, to have tea and to just be on my table here in my office where I'm sitting now, where I do body work and energy work. And sometimes folks just need to talk and cry. And today I felt it important for me to share that um, there have been some significant losses in each of our families and our communities. Um, folks are just leaving, you know, this virus is, it's not discriminating. And I think each one of us will be affected more than we know today. So as I um, start this little short chat, I wanted to call the names of three men who have been luminaries in the arts community. The first one is Ellis Marcellus, who is the father of Wynton Marcellus and Bradford Marcellus and Delfeo Marcellus. And, a whole clan of talented people. Um, he was 85, I believe, and he made his transition uh, yesterday, yesterday morning. My son, who was a jazz musician, called me about uh, Mr. Marcellus, so I need to call his name. The other person is Wallace Roney. Wallace Roney, a phenomenal jazz trumpeter who went to Duke Ellington School of the Arts here in Washington, D.C., um, has a son, Wally, who also plays trumpet. I think his has a brother, Antoine. Um, but anyway, Wallace was in his 50s, and he transitioned from the virus. And the other person I must name is Dr. David Driscoll, who was a friend, a client, an elder in my church, People's Congregational Church in Washington, D.C. Dr. Driscoll transitioned yesterday. He was 89 years old. And so I need to call their names and I'd like for you to just take a moment and even though I can't hear you, call the names of those who in your life who have transitioned from this, this virus going around and let's just take a moment and honor them. My daughter who works for DC government um, is an essential worker in management and um, they are now preparing for temporary morgues to house the bodies that will be leaving the homes and the hospitals and have not been able to be comforted by their loved ones because they're separate and apart in a way and they can't touch them and will not have proper funerals either for a while so I want to honor all of those who are in the process of doing this hard work on the front lines. Death um, is not something that's calming and peaceful to talk about. And the point of these conversations was to bring some calm and peace. Um, and so for many people, death is something they don't want to, they don't want to go there. They just don't want to go there. Um, but I think it's something that we're going to have to go there about, you know. Um, I personally don't believe in death. I mean, I think that um, as energy is created, it shall forever be. Isn't that Albert Einstein's thing? Energy once created never dies. And so we may um, be inhabiting this um, space suit, costume, whatever you want to call it. And hello, everybody. It's so good to see you. Um, but it's for a temporary time. And then we move into what we refer to as an eternal entity, an eternal entity. So the 
the text that I go to when I need comforting around death is from my favorite little book, A Course in Miracles. And I want to read it to you. It's Lesson 202. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about A Course in Miracles later. But it goes like this. I am not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. I will be still an instant and go home. Why would I choose to stay an instant more where I do not belong when God himself has given me his voice to call me home? I am not a body. I am free. For I am still as God created me. They're free. They're free. This pandemic is an opportunity for us to wrap our brains around what it looks like to be gone in a twinkling of an eye, as the scriptures and holy texts say. Their physical presence is gone, but their spirit, their soul is free. And how can we honor them? Well, I'm sure today, many people were playing the music of Ellis Marsalis and Wallace Roney. For me, I pulled up photographs of the beautiful stained glass windows that Dr. David Driscoll created for the sanctuary of our church. I pulled out one of his timeless books that includes some of the most phenomenal artwork. I just thought about the conversations that I had with him. I thought about my son and the music that he's played with Wallace Roney and Ellis Marsalis. I thought about so much goodness that they left here for us on the planet. As we all know, there are far more ancestors than there are of us walking this planet right now. And so I offer this. As we begin to let loved ones go and have their experience to be escorted on the other side by the angels to meet their maker and stand at the good book and see what their life was like. Let us call their names. Let us remember them. Let us tell stories about them. Let's keep them alive because they are alive. They want to be remembered. And I've always believed the ancestors can do more for us on the other side than they could even do for us here. If you haven't already, create a sacred space with a candle and some water and a flower and just go there. You could put the pictures of the deities that you honor, you know, whether it's Buddha or Jesus the Christ or whatever deity calls you and just sit and think about what life is like while we're here and the glory that it can be for those who are gone. I am not my body. I am free for I am still as God created me. Blessings to those ancestors who are leaving. May you be welcomed by your friends and family on the other side and may we keep you alive over here for us. Your assignment was up. Help us as we finish our assignment. I love you all. Have a blessed day. God bless you. Stay strong. Stay well. Wear your masks. Peace out. Thank you for watching. <laughs>